Hi, I'm Marco with the IRS CRM team at NMI, here to show you the changes we've made to the Manage Leads functionality and the Manage Unassigned Leads functionality in the new IRS CRM user interface. I'm here in the list view of the My Leads page in the new UI, and we'll move over to the legacy user interface to show what we've changed and explain why we've changed the things that we have. So specifically for unassigned leads, there is an option to go to manage unassigned leads in the lead dropdown menu, which opened this page where you could search based on different criteria for leads that had no user assignment, and then you could select them and manage them and assign users or change these characteristics. Going back here, in order to manage leads that did have user assignments, you would select those leads and then click manage. Similar to the unassigned leads page, you could manage the user assignment or change lead characteristics. So overlapping kind of similarities in functionality. What we've done in the new UI is combine that functionality since there was that overlap and allow you to manage all of your leads from one location, the My Leads page. So that reduces the amount of training you need to do, the amount of redirects and new pages that are open while you're working through your lead management. So as you can see, there's no longer a manage unassigned leads option here in the menu. In order to specifically find your unassigned leads, you can use the quick filter at the top or the user filter for unassigned over here. Similar to the legacy UI, the manage leads functionality is done by selecting the leads, clicking actions and clicking manage leads. However, on the list view, as you can see, I have 500 total leads in this category, but only hundred have been selected that are displayed. What if I want to manage all 500? That's part of the reason we've added the table functionality to the V2 My Leads page. This allows you to add a larger number of records to manage. So we have 500 and 1,000 as options. And currently I'm showing 500, but I'm going to filter down my unassigned leads even more by applying a filter. If you're applying the same filters on a regular basis, then you can save them as a view so you don't have to reapply them every time. You can just apply the view and it'll use the filters that you've saved. So I've just got status, a status trigger that I'm applying here. I'm not going to save it right now. And as you can see, I'm filtered down to 500 leads, the total in that status. And since I'm displaying all 500 of those, I can click select all and it will show that I've selected 500 leads that I can now manage. So I'm going to click Actions, Manage Leads, which will open a pop-up rather than redirecting me to a new page to work in. There is a user section and a details section. These are expandable and collapsible to make it easier, especially if you're on a smaller screen. I can then either assign users by selecting them and the leads can be assigned evenly. So 250 to each in this case, or they would both be assigned to all 500. They can be assigned to the managers of these users as well. So that's a common use case we've been asked for is, hey, my sales reps get assigned. I want the sales managers that manage them to also be on there. And whether that's for oversight and reporting or residuals, uh, that option is available. And then a notify option. So we leave it up to you to decide if you're gonna notify these two users about either 250 or 500 leads that they're assigned to based on their notification settings. Could be annoying if they're getting you know, pop-ups for all 500 here on the side, but again, up to you. And then the unassigned option is right below there. So you can remove no one, the current user, all of the users that are assigned or select a specific user to unassign from those leads if they are assigned. And then there's the details section, which is where you manage those lead characteristics like group, category, campaign, and source. And once you made those updates, you would click confirm for all of those leads you selected to be updated. You could also delete all 500 here or all that you've selected if you had the user class permission to do so or just cancel out. But those are the big changes that we've made to the manage leads functionality in IRS CRM in the new UI, streamlined it and put it all in one place, my leads, so that your workflows are hopefully streamlined. If you have any questions, please contact our support team Thank you for watching. Have a great day.